just head off there. We all had a fantastic New Year and Christmas. That Santa Claus was good to you, or if you're in Spain, that the Three Kings were good to you. I also hope you enjoyed my festive special video as well as the Madrid uh, ground hopping podcast that I did. I'll leave links to that below this video. Now, today I've made my way up to San Sebastián de los Reyes for the first game of 2018, or the first video of 2018 at least. Uh, it's a municipality, it's about 18 kilometres north of Madrid city centre. It's actually joined on to Alcobendas, which you might remember from one of the videos that I did earlier on in the season. You basically got one street which runs in between the two, so you've got Alcobendas on one side and San Sebastián de los Reyes on the other side. Now, I'm going to say exactly the same thing that I've said about five or six times already this season, so apologies for repeating myself. Uh, I've sounded a bit like a broken record, but it's one of these places that used to be really, really tiny um, and then suddenly uh, expanded greatly in like the 50s and, and 60s. So, you know, the way things are going, Madrid is going to have a beach sooner rather than later. Now, San Sebastián de los Reyes is colloquially known as Sanse, which is good news for me and I might make this video a little bit shorter. Now the game I'm going to see today is between Sanse and Deportivo Fabril. This is in the Segunda B, so it's the first Segunda B game that I've, going to, that I've been to for quite a while. Now Sanse were formed in 1971, they made their way up to the Tercera División, so the fourth year for the first time in 1985 and they've basically been flitting between the Segunda B and the Tercera ever since. They've actually spent more seasons in Segunda B but they've never really been particularly close to going up to the Segunda. They've never made it to the playoffs, uh, the promotion playoffs at least. Uh, but that is their hope for this season. They're actually sitting in seventh place at the moment out of 20. They're five points drift of the top four. But it's their home form that's really been letting them down. They've only won two of their nine home matches uh, compared with six of their 11 way fixtures. So they'll hope to start putting that right in 2018. They might well have their work cut out today though because they're taking on Deportivo Fabril from Galicia. Now Deportivo Fabril is actually Deportivo La Coruña's B team uh, and I'll just remind you at this point that the Segunda B is a partly regionalised league. So the Madrid based teams are in with teams from Castile and León and also from Galicia. Now Deportivo Fabril are in third place at the moment. They're 10 points ahead of Sanse. Uh, they were hoping to challenge for the league title. I think they still are but their hopes were dealt a little bit of a blow last weekend as they lost at home to Fuenlabrada, who are the league leaders. So they've fallen a little bit behind, uh, but they've only suffered one away defeat all season. So they'll head into this game in pretty decent spirits nevertheless. Right, I think we might be here. There's a floodlight. So it does not look very football stadium-ish. Let's go and see. Well, I think I was right. This looks even less like a football stadium than Leganes' prison from the first game of the season. Hmm. So here we go, we're at the Estadio Nuevo Mata Piñonera. Don't worry, I'll write that down. And I really hope those are apartments behind that goal, because that would be a great place to live. Well, if the football's any good, we'll see. Pretty forward thinking in Spain, there are blankets to sit on, and it is a pretty chilly day to be fair. Not like us in Scotland, where even when it rains, we don't use umbrellas. We take a blanket next time and a, and a duvet cover. This is good. Even better if people sat down. That's right, Paul. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the presence, or at least I'm in the presence, of an international footballer. The Sanse number three, Federico Bicoro, who plays for, here he goes, plays for Equatorial Guinea. They didn't make it to the World Cup, did they? Jesus, we took his head off there. Oh, damn. Oh, and he's giving him a red card. Well, it was dangerous play. It wasn't attentional at all. Well, that's all happening here. The ref has had a word with the Sanse manager. Thought he was going to send him to the stand for a second. Police have started heading down there. Try to get their batons out. Oh, and almost a goal for Depor. Kind of game in the 
sense that you probably wouldn't have noticed that there had been a man sent off for Sunset. They've actually done it pretty well. Uh, defensively, they've been really tight, and they've also managed to get forward quite well to support the lone front man, so they've gone 4-4-1 four, four, after getting the red card. So there's really not been very much between the two teams. Uh, there's been one decent chance at either end so far. I think they managed to get the, the Deportivo one on camera. Um, I think the Sanse one was probably clo even closer to the goal. It was a cracking strike from the edge of the box uh, that brought a fine save from the Deport goalkeeper who otherwise looks like he couldn't catch a cold. So, yeah, it's been pretty lively so far. Decent bunch of fans in making a bit of noise as well. Hasn't been a cl classic first half to kick off 2018, but there's definitely potential there. So we'll see if things get any better in the second half. I've got a feeling we might have a goal or two. Weirdly, both teams come out for the second half about two minutes before the referees and did some warm-up drills on the pitch. Don't know if the ref had a dodgy curry last night or what. expected I totally cursed that didn't I first nil nil of the season although to be fair I did actually think I was going to get a goal uh, towards the end of that game the last 20 or 25 minutes was actually really exciting and it was actually Sansi who looked much more likely to score uh, they were pretty solid at the back and you know they were happy to let Deportivo have the ball in defense but some of their distribution from the back was horrendous uh, they were losing the ball in midfield and Sansi were pouncing on their mistakes uh, I managed to create quite a few dangerous moments going forward. I managed to catch her, a couple of them on camera. Now, it was €15 Euros for a ticket, uh, which is a bit steeper than a lot of the games that I've been to in the Tercera Division. But I do have to say there was a bit of a step up in quality. And you even noticed it just with the number of fans that were in attendance. And the fans were actually really good. They were really lively throughout. Um, and I managed to hear somebody using the word bastardo as an insult for, I think, the first time in eight years living in Spain. So that was quite something. Uh, now, there weren't any apartments behind the goal in the end. Uh, I think it was just offices. Uh, and impressively enough, they managed to avoid smashing any windows as well. So that was pretty, pretty good achievement. So, yeah, if you fancy a game up in San Se, there are a couple of different ways to get there. You can take the commuter train. Uh, you've got line C4 of the Cercanías, which takes you up to Alcobenda San Sebastián de los Reyes, which is actually the last stop. Uh, you can catch that in Nuevos Ministerios or in Sol, which are the central stations. You can also get bus 171, I think it is, from Plata de Castilla, which is Madrid's northern bus station, and that will actually leave you right outside. Uh, whereas the Cercanías, I think you, after getting out there, you need to walk for maybe 10, 20 or 25 minutes. So it is a little bit of a trek. Anyway, no goals, but I hope you enjoyed the first video of 2018 regardless. Uh, get in touch, let me know about the games that you have seen so far this year, you need to catch me up. As always, remember to subscribe to the Team on Tour on YouTube, you can also find me on Twitter where I'm most active, on Facebook and on Instagram as well. I'll leave links to those in the description. That's it for today, I'll see you again next week.